or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Heather Lewis and today we are going to be working on this six drawer dresser. Now this dresser is made up of a solid wood. The current hardware that is on this dresser is quite outdated in my opinion. So I want to go ahead and replace that. Another major thing is on the top here, you can see that the finish is failing. That's something that is going to have to be addressed in this makeover. One other thing that I really want to have done to this piece is give it a new custom base. Not only is this piece really short but I don't like the current status of the feet or the base that it has on now and I want to go ahead and modernize that a little bit. This dresser is from Young Hinkle in the Maple House brand. I'm really not familiar with that but comment down below if you have any information on this brand. Overall I really do love how this piece looks and I love the style of it but with the finish failing this is definitely a dresser that is in need of a makeover. We do need to go ahead and get the hardware off so let's get started on that. A lot of the time when you are working with these older pieces the hardware is already loose and that's why I typically just use a screwdriver but if the hardware does happen to be pretty stuck in there then I will go ahead and just use a drill. As I'm taking this hardware off I'm also pulling out the drawers. A lot was going to go on in this makeover at once so this way the drawer fronts wouldn't be in the way at all and it just made the most sense for me at the time. I like to put all of my old hardware in a bag. Usually I put it in a baggie because it fits most of the time, um, but most of the time I don't reuse the hardware, so I like to go ahead and donate it, and this keeps it all together as one set. I'll just set it off to the side, and once I go thrifting again, I'll just drop it off then. At this point, I took out my DeWalt palm sander and I'm getting this top sanded down to raw wood. My original plan was to sand the entire piece to raw wood since it is already a completely solid wood piece, but I did run into a problem later down the road, which I will talk about a bit later. But for the majority of the sanding, I was using a 120 grit. This grit is perfect because it's tough enough to grind through the old finish while still leaving the surface pretty smooth. You may be wondering why I didn't strip the piece and I stripped a piece once and I really didn't like it so I chose to just sand and after an hour's or so worth of sanding, this top was completely sanded down. Of course with the goal to sand the entire dresser down to raw wood, I moved on to the sides. It did take flipping the dresser to find the most convenient way to sand them. I did also make sure I was always sanding in the way that the wood grain went, that way I wouldn't get any marks on the sides. While it's up like this, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the existing legs. I just have my DeWalt drill and it's only held in by screws, so it should be pretty easy to take off. The last part that needed to be sanded down were the drawer fronts and this is where I ran into my main problem. Um, the uneven wood tones where the old hardware laid, that was a huge problem for me. And after sanding all six drawer fronts down all with the same problem, I had no idea how to fix this and I felt completely defeated. Looking at all these drawer fronts, knowing how much work I had put into them, I just took a break and reached out to my very knowledgeable Instagram friends who also flip furniture and I got a ton of solutions to try. To fix the uneven wood tones, the first solution was to mix a 1 to 3 ratio of bleach and water and then I just took a shop towel and kind of scrubbed it on where the old hardware used to lay. 
That helped a little bit, but not as much as I was hoping for. So then in the same solution, I just added a teaspoon of baking soda and that helped a little bit more as well. After I let those two solutions dry on the drawer front, I did go ahead and sand it down. That was the main part that really helped it after the solution, but it wasn't perfect. So the third solution was trying vinegar and oil. I just used olive oil. It was a one to one ratio. And this one did really help, but the key to this one was leaving it on for 20 minutes. While I was waiting for those drawer fronts to marinate, if you will, I moved on to the next step, which included making a paint wash for this dresser. I went to Lowe's and I picked up this beautiful color from Valspar called Algonquin. You may recognize this color from Fusion Mineral Paints because they have a very similar color. For those of you who do not know, a paint wash is, a, is heavily watering down a paint to create the effect of a stain, but you know, with paint. and. I kind of eyeballed my paint wash, but the goal was to get a ratio close to one part paint, three parts water, and as I mix it up, you can really see that it's still very much watery, which is exactly what I was going for. And then, as you would with a stain, I just applied it to the top. I started with the top and I just kind of went in sections. That way I didn't get ahead of myself because it's super important to go back and wipe up the excess. That's how it creates the stain and you can see through it. Now this wash was showing up a little bit more red than I had hoped, but I do think that a lot of it has to do with the lighting and also once I got the poly on, it'll look much better, but other than that I don't have much else to say, so I'm going to let you sit back and enjoy the music while we get this paint wash on. Best friend didn't care about the rules. Good on the weekends, I'll be in fools, drifting the deep space. So brave and so stupid, just like the movies. How it's gonna stay in the fight with you? Just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it. Each and every high, every night with you, you and me so clueless. After I finished the paint wash on the body, the 20 minutes were up on the drawer front, so I sanded those back. I will mention that you can still slightly see the uneven tones if you really are looking for them, but as soon as the paint wash went on, it was all gone, and you could not see it at all. I used the same technique on the drawer fronts as I did with the body where I wiped it on and then with a new towel I wiped the excess back. It's really important to wipe that excess back so that it looks more like a stain than a paint. Too much of this will show up like just paint wiped and smeared on the surface. And with it being done, I will say I was really loving how this was looking and I was glad that it wasn't looking as red as I had originally thought when I put it on the body of the dresser. Now the two bottom drawers had the worst of the uneven tones and unfortunately even with all of the solutions that I tried and trying to cover it up with the paint wash you could still see it so I moved directions for a little bit until I could figure out what I wanted to do and I figured it was a good time for Avery to throw on the new base. He always does an amazing job and it makes every dresser look so much better and it's so satisfying to watch it come together. 
Back to the two bottom drawers, I decided I was going to paint them. In order to paint them, first they had to be primed, so I used my go-to Zinsser 123 primer. Always make sure you're mixing all of your paint because some ingredients can stick to the bottom. I decided to paint them inside this time because it was pretty cold outside. After the primer had dried, I used Valspar's signature paint in the color Oat Brand and it took two coats to reach full coverage. One of the last things that needed to be done was putting on the top coat. I used my typical poly acrylic, but I used a new method to apply it. Instead of using a brush as I typically do, I used part of a sponge and it gave the most flawless finish I think I've ever gotten before. And if you haven't tried applying poly this way, I highly recommend it because it really was a great finish. I used this poly on the entire dresser, both on the paint wash and the two bottom drawers where I had painted. I wanted to make sure that this dresser was fully covered and had a great layer of protection from it so that no damage could be done to it. I did also get some new hardware for this piece. This hardware I got from Menards and they were actually having a sale and each piece of hardware was literally 50 cents which is something I've never heard of so you know I grabbed a lot of it and then I spray painted it black and got it on and now this dresser is ready to be shown its final reveal. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and I'll see you guys in next week's video. Stay alive.